Good morning, everybody. Today is Sunday. I know I always start my vlogs here. Always. Give it a few days and we will have a change of scenery. So, life updates to get started with this vlog. I've had sleep. <laughs> I have slept. Not quite the amount I would like, but I have been sleeping. So, we definitely have a marked improvement on my last video, which hasn't even gone up yet. I'm scared. Like, part of me didn't even want to put it up because I was like, I'm so dead. Like, so dead. And lots of people keep telling me to just have time off, but... I just don't feel like it's gonna do me any good. I'm still not gonna be sleeping, so I know I'm gonna burn my mouth in a second. But either way, I hope you enjoyed the workout with me and me showing you what I eat in a day or two-ish. Since then, I have eaten a pizza and a curry because Ryan and I decided to spend the entire weekend devoted to our favorite restaurants on delivery. There are some of our faves that just don't deliver to our new address, so I keep saying our oh, new address is technically my new address, but I'm nice, so I say oh. So yeah, we've just devoted the whole weekend to basically eating takeout and I am not mad about it because I know once I move, I'm gonna be so super healthy. So just kidding, I'm still in a Domino's delivery area, so. This morning, I have a little bit of work to do. I'm trying to just get a load, I, once again, filming my boobs and not and cutting off my eyebrows, I cannot do. I've got a few bits of work to finish up before basically the packing starts tomorrow. Today I need to organize a few bits, but no full packing yet. I don't know if you can see, there are like boxes in the hallway, like ready, they're all flat packed, but they're ready for me to start boxing things up. I'm not looking forward to it. So tonight I need to do a little bit of like organizing, which is gonna be super boring. It's basically just me trying to make my underwear drawer, gym drawer and like body vest top drawer fit into my Ikea drawers, which you rarely ever see because they're in the wardrobe room. So I can just like ignore my West Elm drawers. What I might use them for is maybe beauty storage in the office for a little while. I don't really wanna keep some of my furniture, but I think practically because we're in lockdown and no one is really delivering furniture i'm just gonna have to kind of make do and have someone take away my old furniture at a later point so we're just gonna everything's gonna be a little bit of a mess once we move for a while the house is gonna be a little bit of a mess for a while it's kind of currently in this limbo reno state what can you do what can you do when moving in lockdown there's literally like i'm doing my best with uh limited resources i would say yeah no ideal but we're making it work my painter broke his arm this week so that has been a real stress you can hear it in my voice when i breathe in I'm like <sighs> yeah it's fine it's just my bedroom might not be finished by the time we move in which is not really the end of the world everything else is moving along nicely I filmed a few bits when I was at the house on Saturday no one was in so I went to just kind of like check up on progress I was asked to come in <laughs> to just see what I was going to be moving into and it's it's fine I'm actually so happy I decided to paint over some of the gray not all of the gray don't panic but some of the gray because it is a bit more of a lilac-y gray and it's actually quite dark it doesn't look it on camera but it was going to be a bit sad on gloomy days and the hallway now that it is white looks beautiful with all of the wooden doors it just it's warmed it up it just looks so much warmer and so much cozier and i'm so happy that i made that, that decision so hopefully i will have inserted some footage on the screen whilst i've been talking but yeah i can feel myself like my heart rate rises whenever i think about the house but it's fine it's all gonna be fine so yeah that is kind of my little house update out the way i don't really think there's anything else to kind of update you on with the move yet so yeah it's just gonna be an organizing day i need to clear out the kitchen cupboards because i always end up moving with stuff that's like kind of just within date but then it goes out of date after i've moved and then i keep it for another two years and it's like why like i found flour the other day that went out of date like last year and i was like wow shows how often i bake so that is where we're at with the house packing starts tomorrow i've got my suitcases in here you might have noticed because basically what i'm going to do so that i don't have to start ripping through boxes the second we move in is i'm going to pack for a two-week holiday i think it's just like the best idea when you move house to like pack everything you're going to need in a couple of suitcases so it's literally like you're going on holiday you have everything you need and then you don't have to start ripping open boxes immediately it just makes so much sense to me and yeah it would just give me a bit more time to kind of adjust and i can just kind of relax because it's been a stressful well it's been a stressful three months for us all but it's been like a real weird <laughs> week or so so yeah just to make things easier on myself that is what i'm gonna do so i'll kind of update you with that a little bit as things progress throughout the day but right now i need to finish up some work for asos basically because everything is going to be packed tomorrow or start being packed tomorrow i need to make sure that everything that i need for work stuff is done 
in case I end up needing to pack it and obviously I don't want to pack like loads of stuff I need for brand jobs so yeah I'm going to finish up all of my work today and I thought I would do what I did last month where I take you through my ASOS bits that I picked out because so many of you really enjoyed it and I'm really glad that you enjoyed it because like I said I know that most of you don't cross over onto Instagram I feel like I have two very separate communities and I love all of you so I'm just going to like double up on the content a little bit so yeah I thought I'd show you my ASOS bits and I've also had some bits arrive from and other stories this is one of them and I'm so happy with it so you might have heard me talk about this in my at my last video the video before having to pretend like i'm talking to you as if it's on thursday but yeah i have two of these dresses one is in a nude and it is beautiful beautiful and i've got one coming from h&m in this style which is in white so happy i have this in like a maxi style but the quality of this is incredible it's not like a jersey it's like i don't know it's like the most beautiful fabric like crinkly and i love it so super super happy with this it's perfect for today as well because it's like cloudy but it's warm like super warm so yeah loving this and i've got a load of like summery dresses to show you and oh, they're all white that's the theme that i've seen to have come out of this order with like there's just so many great little white dresses on asos at the moment so i'm so excited to tuck into them and try everything on so yeah i need to get on and do that now because otherwise i'm never gonna get anywhere with my day it's 12 on a sunday and this is as far as i've got with my day i'm not bad i'm not mad at all also i need to throw some fake tan on at some point because i am i want to say dangerously close but i actually think i've surpassed my face matching my body so <laughs> my face is now darker than my body and i need to sort it out come on chaps let's do this okay it is going to be a little bit noisy in here because my dishwasher is going my washing machine is also going basically we have everything going on because i'm trying to get everything in order before we leave so i have my asos order i've already obviously unboxed my and other stories things i'm so so happy with this and i'm particularly excited to try the nude version on i think it's gonna look really really cute it definitely looks like a lot more different in tone and then i hold it up to my body and it like just looks so light in comparison yeah i'm super excited to try this i just really love the material it feels like the dresses that i know and love so well that i normally would have in a jersey like like i said i have the black version of this strapless maxi in jersey and i love it but this just feels like a little bit more a little bit more premium and a bit more summery and like slightly more formal so the other one i feel like it's like me secretly being in my pajamas when i leave the house whereas this is like more of an actual day dress the other one i literally will wear on flights because it's like the most comfortable thing in the whole world but these are just a little bit more like for every day and like a little bit more dressy than loungewear dresses if that makes sense it doesn't i've had way too much coffee right now so i literally had to eat some dry ramita over my sink to like try and bring myself back down so that's where we're at right now i'm also really excited to try this little number on from asos this is i think the only color thing that i got from asos it's just the most beautiful lilac like when i looked at it on the website it was kind of a little bit like mm, yeah it's okay but when i hold it up to myself it's the perfect like lilac color that i've been looking for it looks kind of like more grey when i just like hold it up like this and i don't love it and then i kind of like hold it up to myself and i'm like yes this is like the lilac color that I have been after that's not too lilac-y so it doesn't feel like super pastel but it's like that kind of if you're a neutral lover this is like your safe place for color those of you that love neutrals will know exactly what I'm talking about and then I'm also really excited about this white dress from ASOS which has the three shoulders oh so cute and it's like a crisscross tie back and then it's like a midi length i want to say it might be a maxi on me let's hang on this it's close it's close to being a maxi on me but i kind of like that length this is what midi dresses look like on me so i'm generally quite used to like a midi dress just looking this way and i think it looks fine so yeah i'm super excited to try this on okay i need to get to do this because for every clip you see of me wearing the item and i talk you through i also have to do an insta story video i normally do like a regular video as well and then a photo for the grid and then i normally do a story photo as well they're separate so basically four bits of content for every vlog clip you see so i'm kind of like rushing on the other side of this because i think i have quite a few items <laughs> to try on so it's gonna take me a good hour i want to say and i still need to fit my 10,000 steps in today so that is the level of like that i'm at just in case anyone's wondering how i style this for lockdown this is kind of like my preferred shoe choice that i wear with this dress so i've got my black sliders these are actually from chanel but they're like a jelly material and 
the high street does them everywhere but yeah i just really like this look it's lovely and casual it's a really nice one for like if you're in the garden just stick some sliders on with this dress and it is beautiful and you don't have to wear a bra with it if you don't want to if you do i would go for a strapless but it kind of like because it's that like ruched elastic -y material it really like holds you in and i like the fact that the elastic comes down to here as well so it kind of just like hugs everything around here so most of them kind of end i would say about here on me and it kind of then falls straight so this just gives you a little bit more shape and i think that's really nice that is my outfit of the day just in case anyone wanted that as well i've also just slipped sorry it's really loud like honestly boris has given us all an inch and everyone has taken a mile and the roads are like round again outside my flat but yeah i've just kind of slicked my hair back at the moment because i'm really trying not to use too much heat on it so most of the time i don't blow dry it and this morning i was up very 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 early getting stuff done so well not very 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 early for a sunday getting stuff done and i was too sleepy to do anything with my freshly washed hair so we're doing the slick back bun look how cute is it in nude i am loving this it is very see-through over here so i think definitely a nude strapless bra really need to order one of those that has been on my to-do list for so long now yeah a new strapless bra would be ideal with this i would say it looks so lovely with tan sandals and a tan bag and the one thing that i forgot to mention when i had the black dress on is that the straps are not only adjustable but they're also removable as well which is goals and they have this lovely little kind of like i don't know what this pattern is that you would call it but just like a really beautiful little detail along the straps which kind of matches with the dress it just feels so lovely to wear and all of the little details really make a difference i find and other stories is great for that like they'll do lots of things that like retailers like h&m would do but there's just this like little twist which just elevates it that little bit more my washing machine literally sounds like it's going for a walk wow <laughs> yeah i absolutely love this dress also this bit is see-through like really see-through so you can see i'm wearing black underwear there but you can't actually see through this material that i'm wearing black underwear and that to me is just amazing i was really expecting this when i pulled it on to be like that but the whole way through so it's literally just the top part and yeah i think that that's fab if my boobs could just stop making an appearance in every video that would be great i'm well aware that i have control over that before anyone tells me this is the final dress that and other stories sent me i love this one so much it's so beautiful the print on this like this is actual like lace floral it's so pretty i love the sleeves i love everything about it it's really cute this is something that i definitely would have steered away from in previous years because it is quite like floaty on the bottom but i actually don't mind that anymore i really like it i probably wouldn't wear it with these sandals all the time i would probably go for my ysl slide on tan sandals but just to make do for now without getting my entire wardrobe out because it definitely needs to be packed up tomorrow we'll make do with these tan sandals but yeah i really love this it's perfect fit size 10 i get everything from and other stories in a size 10 and it has the little bit of rubber material along the top so that it doesn't fall down i have no issue with this falling down because my boobs definitely hold it up yeah just in case you prefer that on a dress and you have an issue with things sliding down it is there which is great the sleeves are a little bit restrictive as they're always going to be with a top like this these aren't like super elasticated but they are a little bit elasticated so i would say it's going to be comfortable but not necessarily one for wearing like when you're organizing around the house but definitely a really lovely one for garden parties if we are ever allowed them again i will be having a garden party for one in this it is beautiful and i always feel like a white lace dress is so timeless you can't really go wrong with it they are my absolute fave thing to buy at the moment so i did try this on i made sure it was the first one that i threw on and i love this i love this i love the shoulder frills i really like the back the way it's designed you can kind of pull this in god i really need to fake tie my back so yeah you can pull it in and just make this kind of come up higher so depending on the length of your body you can just adjust it so obviously i have quite a short body so mine i've just brought mine up quite high and then pulled it through at the back and then tied it if you have a longer body or you want the dress to be longer so for me that wouldn't really be possible because this waistline i like for it to sit on my smallest point if i had it here it would look really really strange because my hips are so wide but if your body has less of a curve you could kind of get away with having it more of a low cut if you wanted to i would probably just go for it something around here because i feel like that's kind of how it's designed to sit but you could make it more of a low cut or just adjust it to a longer body length using this and i think it's such a great design for that it just means that it doesn't matter whether you're petite or tall you can kind of adjust it to you it just is how much of a maxi it's going to be in the length i'm kind of that 
in between where it's not quite a maxi yet close but no donut basically but if you're five foot one or under this is just going to be a little bit longer again all depends on your body length as well but i just love this i think it's a fantastic little summer number really really easy for wearing around the house in your garden all of that i just think it has a really long lifespan and it's a really timeless item to have in your wardrobe so yeah loving this i love the back as well i just think it's so beautiful and yeah it is a little bit see-through so nude underwear needed 100 percent but not too bad on the top i've got to give it that so yeah i love this i love it so much dress i was not expecting to love as much as i do it is one of those dresses that's just like a little bit of a tent but i am not mad about it i really love how low cut it comes up on me it definitely wouldn't do this for everyone like i said short body problems but I just i love it i think it looks so cute you could also do it front to back if you wanted more of a low v but that is that is risky business my friend but if you are taller and your chest is quite long you could definitely do that but i love the cut of this i think when you've got such a loose baggy long dress this kind of v just really gives you some shape so so beautiful i love like the three tiers to it but it's all one piece of material and it's really easy to wear it's that jersey fabric you could belt it and put a little tan belt around your waist if you wanted to i would probably just leave it like this and just make it super comfortable super easy but you could dress it up with a belt if you wanted to and a pair of tan sandals it would look great it's going to be a lot longer on you bear in mind <laughs> if you are taller this is like perfect maxi dress length for me i'm so so happy with it not too ridiculously see-through got to give it that as well and yeah like i said the back is really really cute yeah it's nowhere near as see-through as i thought it was going to be i was like oh god you're going to be able to see my tattoos through this but only a tiny bit i thought we were gonna get a lot more detail than that but yeah this is such a winner for me i was like oh my god i could live in this so comfortable i really like this one i definitely need it in a size eight because there is so much material it is low backed and i can see why there's a lot of material but there's so much that i could easily just like pop a boob out so it's a bit too risky even for my standards but i love the shape of it i think it's so flattering this kind of anything that does this it doesn't matter how extreme like the zara bodies kind of come in this way and it's so flattering on your shoulders so this is like obviously the extreme of it and it just looks so so flattering it really like pulls the top half of you in i love it it's so see-through i'm very lucky that there's a lot of material a lot of extra material here so it's kind of just about saving me but you can see i think through my legs my tattoo is like fully visible like you can see detail on it but yeah definitely would like this in a size 8 because it is a bit too roomy so i would say size down in this if you're unsure and you don't want any nip slips but yeah i absolutely love the length it's a really nice length on me i like this just above knee length with a little white dress it just is perfect and i think this would be an amazing throw on summer dress especially if you're in a location that gets quite warm this is super super sheer it's that perfect like hot summer day dress is for those of you that want a dupe for the and other storage dress i have got you covered this one from asos is so so similar just a different kind of lace print this is more of a broderie on glaze type print and the sleeves are a little bit longer i'd actually say they're less restrictive but it is less structured it's definitely more of a casual version it's a lot thinner i would say this is definitely going to need nude underwear underneath but a really really good dupe for the and other stories one even like the bottom is similar that is like mad but yeah fits really nicely got it in a size 10 as with everything else from asos i always get asked about sizing i generally just tend to blindly go for everything in a 10 sometimes i need an 8 but it's quite a safe bet for me so yeah i would definitely recommend this one as a good affordable dupe for the and other stories dress but it's a little bit see-through so bear that in mind you can even see the label through it so you'd need to cut that out and my tattoo is like shining on through down there this is such a cute one it's like no frills really simple very very like lightweight super comfortable very very stretchy this is like my ideal little white dress oh, so gorgeous i love dresses like this where they're just like a really beautiful texture it's kind of like almost kind of waffly you know that waffle print but it's really simple like literally zero frills like i do love a frill but this is that perfect I'm not sure what to wear it's hot i want to look nice i just want to throw something that's really no fuss on but that i feel great in i really love it i love how low it is in terms of the cut as well i think it's really flattering on like my shoulders and finally after years of being like i don't like off the shoulder it makes my shoulders look too wide mm. i'm finally feeling like a lot more comfortable with that and i love it i love it so yeah super happy with the length 
it's that nice just above knee length why is that on my knee what is going on there yeah kind of low backed there's a slight frill on the sleeve but it's like barely noticeable and this kind of neckline a bit here is just so simple i really really love it so beautiful and this is a lovely one for like days in the garden in the summer when you've like snacked on all the pringles and you have a pringle belly no one's gonna I mean, no one's gonna know anyway, because I'm not going out, but no one on the ground would ever know. I think this is a lovely one. I love this. I know this is the kind of thing that I would have in my wardrobe for years and years. This and dress years. I've seen around in a few different colors on ASOS. They have it in like a lilac with an almost like yellowy frill to it as well. And I believe there's maybe another color, but I can't remember off the top of my head. This is like an off-white minty green. On the website, it looked more white, but I probably just didn't check the um, color description correctly and it's coming off kind of white on my camera screen as well it's so weird but it's actually more of a minty green in real life i love this but i don't know if it's necessarily very me i like what it does for my skin tone like when i look in the mirror like it makes me look so tanned and this is me without like fake tan on so i'm just like wow this is this is a good color for me. So I don't know whether to like ignore the fact that it's a little bit frillier than I would ideally like. I would love it if ASOS could make this without the frill here and here and just have it as like a really simple dress. I think it would do amazingly well, but I have seen lots of people wearing these already. I think that it's a really beautiful style of dress. The back is gorgeous. It's like an open back. It zips up to here and then you've got a button at the top and you've got this really low cut front, which I just think is so gorgeous. And the side is really interesting if you're taller you're not gonna like this unless you're comfortable with wearing stuff that's very short but most people i've met that are tall generally don't love this kind of cut it's fine on me because i'm a lot shorter in the leg length but that is definitely something to be aware of it's longer at the front and back and shorter at the sides very very flattering though very flattering everything about this dress i think is just very flattering on the figure so definitely one to look at if you like a lilac -y color i would definitely look at that one i'll link it if it's still in stock just a little bit frillier than i would normally go for like all of these little tie bits is making me laugh a little bit just because i don't think i've ever worn no that's a lie i have definitely worn something frillier than this but yeah i think this bit is just like a little bit more busy than i would ideally like but it's really really gorgeous this dress is so great it's a really nice one for those of you who love color and normally hate my videos because there is no color and it's a really great one for those of you who love neutrals and are looking for like a little bit of color that's not too in your face i think this is the perfect perfect dress and it's going to be a really lovely summer one as well i have this dress in white from asos but it's very frilly on the bottom half this has a little bit more frill on the top half but lots of people i read in the comments and i think maybe on my instagram as well lots of people didn't love the frills that were on the bottom of that dress if you are one of those people and you love a little bit of color as well this is gorgeous and it's a great option so yeah it's so cute and it comes with an under slip as well so you don't have to worry about anything being see-through it's so cute it's that perfect lilac tone and i love the lilac tone of it because i just think it looks a little bit more expensive than your average pastel i don't know what it is i don't know if it's the grazy tone of it it's just that little bit different and i think it makes it a really special piece to have in your wardrobe in case you're wondering where i hide all the mess when i do my filming this is where it goes now I'm going to go back to eating Rivita breakfast biscuits over the sink because I don't want to use plates unnecessarily and I'm trying to eat all the food in my cupboard and bring my caffeine high down. So this is what we're doing. What is my life? Okay, I've cleared up my ASOS dresses. I've done all of my washing, all of it, every single bit. So if you could just wear your pants front to back, side to side, back to front for like the next three to four days. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan's shirtless again, so I can't vlog him, but he's uh, clearing out the kitchen cupboards. Thought that was a really appropriate job for him, seeing as this is the reason I've got loads of really random stuff in there. I mean, the baby Nutella is essential. Yeah. So cute. <laughs> Essential. <laughs> I like to steal these from hotels. They come with the buffet breakfast. My job is one to clean up the bathroom, which I'm not looking forward to. And I think I'm gonna pop on some fake tan whilst I do it. Multitasking. And other than that, it's to condense six drawers into three drawers. One of those drawers is my wig drawer. I feel like Ryan should have that job because I feel like he'd have a lot of fun with it. I'm up for having that job. <laughs> yeah, the other drawer is just like 
a drawer of crap and the other drawer is a drawer of sunglasses where do you put a drawer of sunglasses like i literally have no wardrobes like all of my wardrobes here are in bills so i'm moving with no wardrobes where does all this stuff go i'm gonna have to really take advantage of my loft which is not ideal when you're scared of heights what am i gonna do ryan why was this a good idea ryan and i have decided that now would be a good time to have wine because we don't have anywhere else to go the rest of the day other than our like what is it like gonna be a five mile walk we're going on a five mile walk aiming for 20,000 steps wine for that. <laughs> i'm gonna need wine for that too it's either coffee time or wine time there ain't no in between people just clearing out the cupboards this wine's okay for six quid i think that's quite nice yeah i have brushed my teeth quite recently but... <laughs> That must be lovely. So you guys, this is my sweet drawer, which I have always promised myself is not coming to the new house. This drawer was originally just housing this colander and then I think a mixing bowl. And it slowly, slowly, slowly ended up the baking leftovers and sweet drawer. Basically I won an award and then the company that owns Love Hearts and Fizzers, what is it called, Swizzles? Yeah, Swizzles. They just sent me like, one of everything they had so i ended up with a lot from that and then lauren did me sweets for my birthday which i was slowly making my way through i still make my way through every so often when i fancy a sweet but i'm not the biggest sweet person also nala's dog treats lived in <laughs> so the sweet drawer is not going to be coming with me i need to decide what is actually going to stay basically everyone else eats it and i just have no need for it it's just a complete waste of a drawer basically the only thing that's really keeping its value in here is a rolling pin which ryan uses to bake i've never used this in my life this is ryan's oh my god i forgot about these these are so cute I've got my name on them they say influencer of the year that's me we're about to go on our long ass twenty thousand step walk you look so cute you so do. preppy. <laughs> Ryan was like, you look really funny with a backpack on. <laughs> you need my snacks and my water. Have you got that? Yeah, snacks. Yeah, snacks. Nice. So I'm wearing this top, which is old from Cole and Terry. I don't think they do them anymore, but I will try and find someone else that does jumpers like this and I'll link them. Girlfriend, cycle shorts, Nike trainers, because I need actual shoes for this walk. And I just realized I forgot to pick tan. So absolute fail. I will be back with you in the morning for more life chaos like i cannot wait to show you the state of this place it doesn't look so bad where i'm standing but the moving mess is real trust me i'll see you in the morning good morning everyone this is what my life currently looks like this is what the bedroom currently looks like <laughs> hello <laughs> packing has started oh i am not loving life right now so we have nothing to cook with which is killing me i actually look dead under my makeup like i feel like i look a little bit dead anyway yeah my skin looks bad we have basically been living off takeaways i do regret packing most of the kitchen stuff i i really regret it weirdly the kitchen stuff has been done but my coffee table here hasn't we are in the middle of packing i am a little bit lost for what to do today if i'm honest because there is literally nothing i can do i got up i have done some worky bits i've been watching lydia's video a fake tanned i'm trying a new tan today i didn't exfoliate last night so i'm gonna need to try this tan for a bit longer i think because my skin is a little bit patchy i was tired cva but if it's good i will tell you about it but i like how glowy it's made my skin look like i really really like that and it's actually not done a bad job at like matching my body to my face which when i first put my laura mercier tinted moisturizer on i did not match my body so it's already i feel like it's already kicked in just slightly but yeah i'm wearing my asos dress i literally just threw this on because i don't really know what to wear today apparently lauren has texted me and it's really humid outside but sadly it was cloudy when i got up so yeah i literally have missed all of the sun on the balcony yeah it's nice and warm so i might go for a walk around the park like this yeah that is where we are at with life my life is full of boxes and we move tomorrow so i had a little cry yesterday i actually like had a little cry once we kind of finished packing and i was just like uncontrollable for good, like five minutes just crying so i'm gonna miss it here a lot like i love sitting on my sofa just there and like the view from my sofa is so lovely it's just like trees and blue skies and i'm gonna really really miss that like these trees are so big and old and it's just so lovely i can't remember if i've already told you in 
the last vlog i don't think i have but the rooms have actually gone white now like most of them unfortunately my painter broke his arm so one of the rooms is like in need of a little bit of like another coat and the rooms in general just need a little bit of a like another go around the skirting and stuff like that but painting is almost done we're just going to pick it back up at some point maybe after lockdown so that we can kind of like actually like leave the house and then leave it to like air and stay somewhere else but that could be like a really long time so we don't know if it's done it's basically just done not perfect so yeah the walls are white the flooring is going down i'm very happy i haven't had my coffee yet this morning so we made a mistake of not leaving out a lot of our like things like nutri bullets i might have to dig out the nutri bullet and i'm really pissed off because everything is all taped up but um we did leave out the coffee machine because priorities so i'm gonna make myself a coffee because i haven't had one yet this morning and it's almost midday <sighs> this is why i'm cranky I'm feeling particularly cranky. This is why. So I'm going to have my coffee, sit out on the balcony, chill, not look at the boxes. They are is an eye. I think that looks like an eyeball. I'm gonna go with that. I'll get there someday. Chef Ryan is making banana and blueberry smoothies. It's about to get really loud, so bye. Oh, I will miss this a little bit. We had to have hot coffee today because uh, we ran out of ice, and I was just like, everything is literally falling apart right now. I literally have nothing. Knives and forks, plates, no, no ice, nothing. Ryan has made us banana, blueberry, and spinach. Yeah, spinach smoothies. And oats. And oats, because uh, we're really lacking in the vegetable department at the moment, so <laughs> desperate times. And we're just enjoying this lovely view for pretty much one of the last times. I'm really sad. <laughs> just started putting some final bits away from the coffee table it looks so weird without all my quartz stuff on it we're leaving these two guys out because obviously we want to keep them alive i'm just getting the final dregs out of my zara home diffuser which i have a restock of so i'm all good and that's actually very convenient timing for it like running out there's like a drop left in the bottom so good timing it means i don't have to pack that i'm also just stretching out my new skipping rope i'm very excited about this it's like an actual like techie skipping rope yeah just using my uh, heating dial to stretch it out i cannot wait to use that later i don't know where it would be best to use it when you're in a flat like i feel like i'm gonna have to go outside but then people are definitely gonna watch me so that is kind of how the living room is looking the light looks so pretty in here today it's kind of like bouncing off of the leaves on the trees which is like this red color so pretty this is what my wardrobe room is looking like my rail is going to be in my bedroom that's going to be my makeshift wardrobe because i have no wardrobes like this house has zero storage built into it it's a very like minimalist vibe which i love but i think when you love a minimalist vibe you have to have storage behind the scenes so i think what i'm gonna have to do is basically devote a bedroom to being like a storage kind of wardrobe room and be really really efficient with the storage for it because i don't have anywhere for any of my stuff to go like even bedding i've been looking at like so where am i gonna put that on the other end so yeah it's gonna be really interesting on the other side but it's so weird seeing everything so empty i'm pleasantly surprised at how clean everything is given the fact that i like don't do much with these wardrobes like i clean out my wardrobe in my bedroom all the time but i'm really impressed this is going to be a really nice clean when i come and clean it i've also just realized the toolbox wasn't packed which is amazing because i actually thought that it had been packed and that i wasn't going to be able to sit in my bed apart i will Brian will. yeah that is my wardrobe room this is the shape of it i feel like i can show you a bit more now i'll show you it when it's completely empty and give you like a full tour but this is the kind of shape of the room and why the light is so weird because 
that's like an L shape. For someone that needs natural light for their job, that room, probably the worst one. The bathroom is packed. I've just got loads of stuff by the sink because uh, it's just all out and needs to go in my suitcase tonight. The bedroom I just, I showed you earlier, I'm not gonna show you it now because my suitcase looks like it's exploded. <laughs> Moving on. And then down here, this is my utility room, which I don't really show you, but I have loved having a utility room because it has the ugliest items that I owned. My new house actually has an inbuilt microwave, which is so nice. Microwaves are just like such a space waster. Like look at the size of that thing. So yeah, these are saying, saying goodbye to my washing machine, which I have loved. So yeah, that is, I think all the packing I can do for today, apart from the bed and then everything else is gonna have to be done really early tomorrow morning. My cheese plant looks like it's dying. I'm gonna have to water him tonight. Yeah, so now I need to work on a quiz that I'm hosting on Zoom and I'm gonna play some Sims because I really actually don't know what else. Oh, I need to do a little presentation for something. But apart from that, I'm just gonna play The Sims, I think, because there really isn't that much to do apart from literally watch Netflix and be on my laptop. There's literally nothing to do. It's really nice outside though, so I might go for a run and do a workout this evening, but probs won't bring you along for that because I think it's gonna be a really sweaty one. <laughs> Lovely. Taking the bed apart. Here goes quite literally nothing because fun fact, in the three years I've had this bed, I have never taken this bed apart. <laughs> myself and still have never because pro over here nearly done and yes before anyone comments i am using my dual bag to store the parts of my bed because they're both very important so they're going to be by my side on movie day Also, look at what decided to reappear during the packing process. The ridiculously expensive black scrunchie. For anyone that doesn't remember this scrunchie or is new here, this scrunchie cost me an absolute fortune from Netaport and I don't know what I was thinking. It cost me £75. It is the largest scrunchie in existence, like it's actually huge. This doesn't do it justice. Stupidly spendy purchase and then I thought I'd lost it. But it's re-emerged during packing. Still awaiting the appearance of the red comb. Have not found that yet hoping it turns up on the other end. I also found this nail polish and it looks so cute and I'm tempted to paint my nails but I don't have nail polish remover so if they look really awful with this on I'm stuck with it. Also you can see on my nails where the old like really broken nail is and the, all of the new fresh nail is coming through. Literally people said that my nails would probably never recover from the amount of acrylics I had but I think this is proving them wrong. This looks so healthy. Half healthy, half like completely dead. We need another designer bag please. You need another designer bag. <laughs> See, this is what the Amazon bag organizers are great for because they have compartments. This is like the most ridiculous thing ever, but you know, you've got to make do with what you've got. And this is what we've got. For anyone who's wondering, I would want 100% help. We just have one Allen key, which is very annoying. Ryan's probably going to go through the toolbox and find another one and be like, You've definitely got you one in your pocket. Fibber. I don't, yeah, what I don't pockets? Know, what I pockets? <laughs> You guys, we have a flooring update. Look! I think Lauren's texting me. Oh, you look so cute! Yeah, Mike's texting me, he sent me a photo of the flooring. So Mike is actually one of my oldest, oldest friend, Naomi's uh, partner. He just happens to have a flooring company, which is ideal. So I obviously can like, I, f I feel like it's not cheeky to ask for photos, like little updates. He just sent me this and I've just done a little like dance on the spot. I'm so happy. I was like, oh my God. He was like, is that a good oh my God? I was like, yes, I love. I just did a little dance on the spot and he's like laughing at me. He's like, happy feet. Have you seen happy feet? No. Oh, we need to watch that. I love happy feet. What are you doing with your feet, son? Dancing. They're happy. Yeah, so that is my flooring update. I'm so happy. Basically, I really wasn't sure whether to go for like conventional parquet flooring. Like it's a little bit like my school always used to have parquet flooring on the hall like the main hall floors. Part of it felt a little bit kind of like that for me and I wasn't sure. I, I love it but I was just like, is this something that I'm gonna love forever? And then I was like, oh, maybe I'll just go for a bigger one. So it's like a little bit of a halfway between parquet and like regular straight floorboards. I was like, is that a bit of a cop out? Cause it's so halfway. It's like not a trend thing, but it's not a not thing. I've since then found out that apparently the new trend is bigger, longer parquet flooring. Who knew? I didn't. I was just like, oh my gosh, I should just go for this. So that is my little flooring update and the walls are white and <sighs> 
it's all coming together honestly there was so much stress with my painter like breaking his arm and basically the flooring dates were like for later and i was like oh my god that's not going to work with us moving in and it's going to be like massive stress and we've had to like rejig a lot of things oh yeah i was literally about <laughs> to say that it's all coming up millhouse i'm so happy so, yeah that is all good we're taking the bed apart it's all coming up millhouse so happy done <laughs> We've left the headboard up just to feel a little bit normal. I would say I did it, but Ryan mostly did it, so thank you. Currently sat in a maze of boxes with a salad and the Sims. I know how to live my best life, although Ryan was just like, this is the weirdest dessert I've ever known anyone to have. Basically, we had honest burger for dinner and I had a side salad that I was meant to eat with it, completely forgot, and my skin looked like garbage this morning, so I need to try and eat some more of it, but it's hard. If this was a bowl of veggies, I would annihilate it, but salad is like, just tastes like sadness. Got a Fanta fruit twist on the table over there for when I'm finished. I also have the cutest little greyhound on The Sims that I have made. He has a jumper on. How cute is that? Also have made a Sim of the Little Mermaid and I'm so happy, you guys, because I put her onto the Sims gallery. This is my username if you want to find me. And she has had four downloads. I am now a Sims influencer, you guys. I'm so excited. And with that riveting piece of content, I think that's gonna be where I leave you guys tonight because tomorrow's moving day and I'm so excited and so sad all at the same time like I've already had another cry this evening I cried the other day and I've just cried again Ryan was just like you okay and I was like oh, I'm just sad so that is gonna be my final vlog well not quite the final vlog from the flat almost the final vlog from the flat from the from the flat wow I'm just gonna go because I can't speak <laughs> but I will see you guys in the morning or in the next video for you guys for moving day. Bye.